Hello, and thanks for taking an interest in the Karura network. Today, I'll be discussing liquid state Kusama, better known as LKSM. I'll explain what it is, how it works, the risks, and what you can use it for. Traditionally, when you stake KSM on the Kusama relay chain, that KSM is earning rewards but is otherwise unusable. If you want to earn additional yield on those KSM tokens, there's no way for you to put them to work in a DeFi app and continue to earn staking rewards. If you need liquidity, you're forced to unstake and sell your KSM. So while staking is great in that it gives you the opportunity to earn rewards, you sacrifice some flexibility when it comes to what you can actually do with your Kusama tokens. Furthermore, there's also a 7 day unstaking period which could be seen as quite a long time to not have access to your funds. Lastly, because staking on their relay chain allows you to select your own validator, you have to take time to evaluate which validator is best for you and all the research that goes along with it. Overall, staking on the relay chain requires the user to deal with some restrictions on their KSM and also have to do the homework to select a validator. Centralized exchanges, on the other hand, provide users with a little more flexibility by having much lower staking requirements, allowing users to instantly unstake and doing the work to pick a validator for you. While these conveniences enhance the user experience to an extent, you still don't have the full flexibility when it comes to your KSM. They're still locked away where the only thing you can really do with them is earn staking rewards. However, to provide KSM stakers simplicity and maximum flexibility, the Karura team has created a liquid staking product called LKSM. LKSM is a token that functions as a receipt for staked KSM. So when you stake through Karura, your KSM are then staked for you on the relay chain. In return, Karura gives you LKSM tokens, which represent your staked KSM balance and staking rewards. Keep in mind, while Karura uses a vetted high-performing validator set for its LKSM operations, there is still slash risk with LKSM, just like there is with staking KSM directly on the relay chain. This methodology of KSM addresses and improves upon all the shortcomings of the other methods of KSM staking, with the convenience of one-click staking and not having to do any research on validators. As well as it being completely decentralized and trustless, with no reliance on a centralized party to pay you rewards. You're also able to maintain liquidity while staked, enabling you to pursue additional ways to earn yield on top of your staked KSM. Finally, with no minimum staking requirement and no unbonding period, you have complete flexibility and freedom to access your funds when you wish and are not beholden to any restrictions on your assets. Also keep in mind, you don't always need to have KSM to get KSM. Because LKSM is its own token, you're able to swap for it just like any other token on the Karura swap. Said another way, buying LKSM is effectively buying staked KSM. Well, how do you actually earn rewards? LKSM is very unique compared to other staking products as simply holding LKSM will allow you to earn KSM rewards and is self-compounding. As time goes on, each LKSM will be worth more KSM, and to redeem your rewards, you would simply unstake or swap your LKSM for KSM on the open market, depending on which is more favorable. Here's an example. Let's say you've staked 10 KSM. Now it's important to know that the KSM to LKSM ratio is not one to one, but rather determined by an algorithm in the protocol. So let's say you stake 10 KSM and you receive 100 LKSM. Now the 100 LKSM figure won't change as time goes on. However, the amount of KSM it's actually worth will change. So today, 
that 100 LKSM we have is worth what we put in, or the original 10 KSM. However, six months from now, at a hypothetical 15% APR, that same 100 LKSM would now be worth 10.75 KSM, give or take, or 11.5 KSM after 12 months. Now, importantly, no matter where your LKSM is, whether it's sitting on your portfolio, in a liquidity pool, or used as collateral to mint AUSD, you will be earning KSM staking rewards. Let me repeat that. No matter where your LKSM is, if it's somewhere in your account, you'll be earning KSM staking rewards. Now let's run through some examples on how we can actually use our LKSM. Firstly, let's say you've staked some KSM and things are going well, but now you need some funds, whether it be you want to buy more of a certain cryptocurrency, you want to mint or buy an NFT, or even if an unexpected life expense came up. If you're a believer in Kusama, you're stuck in this dilemma where you want to keep holding KSM, but you also need the funds that are locked while staking that very same KSM. For example, Bob has 10 KSM worth $1,000, which he liquid stakes with Karura, and then receives 100 LKSM, also worth roughly $1,000. He can then borrow against that LKSM, putting it in a vault and minting, say, $300 of AUSD. With this AUSD, Bob can do whatever he likes. However, the LKSM he has locked in the vault is still generating KSM staking rewards. Alternatively, let's say there's a trading pool offering an attractive API for LPs providing LKSM liquidity. You can contribute your LKSM tokens to the pool just like you would any other pair and earn the pool APY in addition to your KSM staking rewards. An example could be providing AUSD and LKSM liquidity to a trading pool. By providing liquidity, Bob can continue to earn KSM staking rewards through his LKSM tokens plus the trading yield generated by the pool and any incentives being given like KAR rewards. A final example would be a DeFi app, such as Karura, offering Bob the opportunity to stake his LKSM tokens to earn additional yield. Remember that by holding LKSM, Bob is already earning KSM staking rewards and he can put these LKSM tokens wherever he pleases. So, the DeFi app attempts to attract Bob to their platform by offering their tokens to Bob if he locks his LKSM tokens with them. When Bob does this, he receives his KSM staking rewards and the tokens from the DeFi app, say, KAR from Karura. To sum up, LKSM allows you to maintain liquidity while staking your KSM tokens and has the added convenience of allowing you to instantly unstake those very same tokens, foregoing the typical 7-day unbonding period. Liquid staking also has no minimum staking requirement and makes the entire staking process more streamlined by Karura, both vetting and selecting the validator on your behalf, cutting out the frustrating and long process of doing homework yourself. This concludes our discussion about liquid staking on Karura. If you have any questions, feel free to browse our Discord and ask any of our team members or ambassadors. Thanks.